Hey, this is the Valor Fitness BD57 half rack with chin up station. Check out the website. We show the footprint dimensions, which shows the depth, the width, and the height of the rack. Now, the rack's adjustable, so the height portion in the uh, line art on the website shows the max height of the frame itself. It can go up higher to a height of 96 inches, but for right now, the website kind of shows the footprint dimensions. The rack was designed mainly for individuals looking for a solid pull-up station. Since we had to use some uprights to get up that high, why not make a half rack out of it? Hey, let's go over some features and benefits. The rack offers two main features and benefits, one being the primary, the chin-up station, and second being the secondary, more of the weight section. Let's talk about the primary first, the chin-up station. You can raise it to a max height of 96 inches, that's 8 feet, or invert the chin-up bar upside down and bring it down to a height of 65 inches. Why the difference? If you're a tall person, you understand why. You want enough clearance through the rack itself so your feet don't hit the ground doing the muscle-ups, the toes to bar, the kipping, and just basic chin-ups. The 65 inch, if you want to train someone to do the muscle-up function to kind of push up, you can actually jump up from the ground and push up on the bar itself and get that balance stability before you start doing the, the higher muscle-ups. The second option is down here for the weights. Here it's in a squat function and you can bring it down for a bench press function. Bring in your utility bench, you have access to incline, decline, and flat bench. So those are the two primary functions, the chin-up and the weight section. As far as accessories for the unit, shown here are the safety arms attached. You have five options total to accessorize the unit. The safety arms, adjust those two, you can bring them out. What we've seen happen in the past, people have taken the safety arms, actually brought the bar down to the safety arms, and done some shoulder shrugs off the safety arms. Neat idea. You also have a step plate if you have the chin-up bar up top for the shorter people to try and get up to the bar itself. A step plate attaches to the frame itself, step up to the bar. You have plate storage pegs that can go to the back side to give the rack even more stability being grounded. It comes with two on the back side that are on the frame, but you can also add two more as far as weights in the back when doing bench press or squats. You have a dip station handlebar, attach that to the front or the back for dips, and then a wall ball target can attach to the side for doing the wall balls. So those are your five main accessories to attach to the BD57. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, info at valorfitness.com or the old-fashioned way, give us a phone call. There's plenty of photographs on the website that get more detailed, close-up shots. If those don't answer your questions, give us a call.